Hey guys, how's it going? Komodo here. In this video, I want to show you guys how you can slap a dry wet knob, boom, on anything. Uh, this is really useful for things in Ableton such as the auto filter that doesn't have a dry wet knob or any effect or preset that you just wish you could have a slider value so it wasn't fully in effect. Super simple. If you don't want to learn how to make it and you just want it, just head on down to the description of the video. You can just download it, one click, easy. Um, but if you guys want to see how to make it and how to use chain selectors in Ableton to fade volumes, stick around. So let's just dive right into it. So we got auto filter here and let's just say I didn't want the full effect. I wanted a hybrid of the original sound. Let's even slap it on something so we can really hear it. Let me just grab a new bass here. And let me slap auto filter on here. And let's draw a little quick bit of automation here. Bibbidi boat. So let's say I didn't want that to be so drastic and I wanted to blend it with the original signal. Well, what you're gonna do is you're going to group this. You're gonna head on over to the chain selector view here. You're gonna call this the wet chain. So whatever has the effect on it. You're gonna create a new chain. And you're gonna call it the dry one. Now at this point, they're gonna be going through both of them at the same time, not really going to work. You don't really want that. So what you want to do is you want to use the chain selector to blend between them. So on the left, we want the dry signal fully. On the right signal, we want the wet. But in between, we want a nice volume fade between them. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this effect out for each of them. Now in the middle, it's still going to be playing them both at full volume. We don't want that. So you click the little sky blue bar up top. That's actually a little volume slider. Oh, my bad. That's a little volume slider. And what we can do now is we can right click this, map that to macro one. We can call this the dry wet. And there we go. As we click and drag this, we got the dry on the left, wet on the right, and a hybrid in the middle. Do this with any sort of effect, it's really useful. And that's it. We got our dry wet rack. And all you have to do is delete whatever's on the wet there. And you can use this at any time. Hide the chain selector, hide the view, make it all nice and polished. Let's make it a nice white. Boom, there you go. So if you don't even want to go through the steps to make it, just click down below. It's yours, it's there, it's free. Thanks guys, I'm Kermode, peace.